What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and if you've watched one of my recent videos, I picked up a Bronze Age comic collection recently, and I had some interest in seeing the other box of books that I purchased that I, I had filmed a flip through, but I didn't put in that video, so let's check out those books. So before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So if you haven't watched my Bronze Age collection video, I recommend going and checking it out. I went over the key issues. I flipped through one of the boxes of books that I picked up. This was two boxes of books. It was about 475 books total. And just because of the amount of time that it takes to flip through that box, I only put one of those in the video, but I've had some interest in the other books. I've had interest in the, the lots of books that have been in here. And so I thought I would put out a video since I filmed the other one as well of just the flip through of that second box. Now, if you are interested in any of the books in this, I'm not really looking to sell one-off type books. Uh, I am probably going to end up putting them up on eBay in lots, but uh, if you are, have any interest in them, you know, reach out to me and I'd be happy to sell them in lots off eBay as well. Uh, just make sure to reach out to me using the contact information that is in the description to the video. Instagram is the easiest way to get a hold of me. So let's check out those books. So then we had the Defenders. There's a couple minor keys. Um, the Defenders was a pretty substantial set of books um, in this collection. I think it was, yeah, it was 43 issues from this you know, from this run. Um, but uh, there are a few minor keys in the in the Defenders. This is one of them. This is the first new uh, Red Guardian. I mean, it's actually where Red Guardian is woman. It's her right here. So right on the front here. And uh, so she has, you know, multiple pages of appearances. So one of those things, like, like I said, it's just, it's fun to be able to flip through these and, you know, come across that kind of stuff. Uh, this one is also, this is an interesting one. This is the first appearance of Lunatic, who is a prototype for Lobo. And so, well, let's see. I, I looked through it to find it. Um, but yeah, he's by the same creators of Lobo from DC. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here he is. So this is this character right here, this guy, uh, who's called Lunatic, who is uh, considered a prototype for, for Lobo. So I thought that was kind of, that was kind of a cool little minor, you know, minor key in this Defenders run. And yeah, we just got, again, just kind of like long continuous runs. I mean, you can see it's almost unbroken in many cases. But I think there's there's a couple more little minor keys in this run. A lot of the, the main value in the Defenders run are in the really early issues. Um, but uh, let's see, I think, yeah, like this is the first gargoyle minor, you know, minor key. And then we have Yeah, more defenders. A lot of defenders. Uh, then we have just this anniversary issue, you know, issue 100, which just, you know, minor key for that reason. We've got Silver Surfer, but some, you know, quite a bit of staining on the cover, which is just, yeah, it was one of those things that's just, it's unfortunate. Cool, cool skull cover there. It's a cool, kind of like more cosmic type cover. Yeah, just uh, a lot, a lot of Defenders books in here. That's near the end. You can definitely see the art shift. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's like 121, and then completely different style here. 125. I, I'm gonna say I don't like this style. <laughs> the the new Defenders. I'm not a fan of that uh, that art style. Then some Tarzan books very like you know kind of like minor key here you know in issue number one but you know issue number one two and then eight eleven and seventeen so 
So yeah, that was the first box. And now let's take a look at the second box. I was actually surprised there are a couple little minor keys in the uh, in the Alpha Flight run. Not something I would have uh, I really would have caught. Um, but uh, I spent a little time, you know, looking at these. So we've got Alpha Flight. So this these two issues, issues 33 and 34. These are the first and second appearance of Lady Deathstrike. Um, so let's find her in here. I think she's pretty early. That is a nice thing too about you know little lower condition books is you don't really worry about flipping through them. You're not really gonna do any real damage to the book. Yeah, so there you go. So first appearance down here, uh, right there, Lady Deathstrike. So yeah, cool little minor, you know, kind of like minor key. It's in the Alpha Flight run that if I, I, I just, I wouldn't have known. I don't, I don't look at uh, these books all that often. So I had to do my, my own little bit of research here. And then definitely recognize this one, you know, Dazzler number one. And then that, that, I just thought that was a cool Doom cover, but really nothing, uh, nothing, nothing big with, with that one. Yeah, real low grade on that book. The Dazzler actually went quite a few issues. And then here, definitely a big shift in art style again. <laughs> really big shift. I'm guessing that was around the same time. Um, but for the New Mutants, so again minor keys unfortunately this one it didn't go long enough to get into any of the like all of the bigger keys in the new mutants run but uh i think issue issue nine ten issue ten is the first magma issue 11 is her first cover uh you know minor key type stuff uh then I, we had the eternals you know we could not couldn't get out of the Bronze Age without some Eternals. We didn't have the early, you know, the early issues that had the, what I would call the, the bigger keys from the Eternals run. Um, but we had a couple. Uh, issue 11 is the first uh, Kingo, I have, even if I'm pronouncing that right. And issue 12 is the first Unimind. So a couple little minor keys there for the Eternals. But again, nothing, you know, Eternals movie didn't do so hot. So not a lot to right home about there and we've got just some bronze age nova uh, i don't believe there are any keys in this you know in this one it's really it's that they're in the first few issues um, but yeah you can see just these like pretty long continuous runs the books and last couple then this is this is fun to see, you know, Devil Dinosaur. That's this is definitely one of the, I'd say one of the, not like a big key, but definitely a key from this. It's unfortunately in a little bit lower condition. I can't remember if there was staining on it or not. Yeah, a little bit of staining along the spine, down here. But we had uh, Devil Dinosaur one, two, three. So probably something like for me with this one, when I'd sell kind of as a lot, just of, you know. I think it's issues one through eight maybe yeah so issues one through eight devil dinosaur so yeah that's where it's like yeah not high grade but and then we had uh, the omega which actually has a minor key in it um <laughs> nothing nothing big for sure um but issue nine is the first fool killer you know a character i'm sure we're gonna end up seeing um but uh then tons of like a ton of the masters of kung fu uh this was just like defenders there were a lot of these i'm actually i, I won't go through all these but really no no keys in here but still you know with potential with the popularity of you know of shang chi if that increases this is kind of like where all that comes from so um, but yeah yeah i'll just i'm just gonna skip past the uh the masters of kung fu just because there's just like i said there's no real keys to speak of in there you can see we've got another another number one which is always fun to see 
So we got the uh, ROM number one, which is the first appearance of ROM, but unfortunately lots of staining on this one. This is a low grade copy, a lot of staining on the back here too. So, uh, but that's really the, the main key here. You have one, two, three, and it jumps up to 32, 38, uh, 49. And then we had, a, oh yeah, then we had some, some Star Trek books. So we had Star Trek number one, again, kind of like a minor, minor key for it. Not the, uh, the early Star Trek number one, definitely the later Star Trek number one. But yeah, then we had issues three, four, six, and then we run into Red Sonia. We had a couple number ones. This is again, kind of like a minor key, just a number one for Red Sonia. And then another Red Sonia number one uh, from the different run. And then two and four. Six, ten. Now we're on on to uh, Kazar. Actually, I don't know where all those are. I don't know where those got put. So there's one issue from that. Maybe they got mixed in with the, the calls. So again, not these are definitely not books that you know, you've got the Call to Conquer. This is where it's books that are kind of like corridor type you know, books. You have the, the bigger runs, you know, where you've got things like X-Men and Spider-Man and all that. And then you have the, the less desirable runs, you know, things like spider Woman. If you had Spider-Woman number one, that's kind of like a minor key because it's number one, but that one wasn't here. Uh, it just started at two and we had you know, two, three, four, five. Again, pretty continuous runs, six. Seven, no eight, and then it starts to jump. You know, 17, 44. Then here's another, you know, these runs that nobody's really looking to collect. We didn't have the number one again, unfortunately, but John Carter, Warlord of Mars. Two, three, four, eight, 11. All right, so now we are down to the final, final stack, and I haven't gotten to any of the Spider Man yet, so those are coming up. But just, uh, you know, Star Wars Annual 2, none of the keys for Star Wars. 40, 49, 57. It was in that time frame, but just it didn't have, um, it didn't have, you know, any of the, those those books that, that would have had some value. I've got Avengers. They're, Avengers has some, some decent books in this time period. So, 165. And then you see this jump, and this is where again, where I was like, okay, hope, let's see, what do we have? Do, are we gonna have that 196? We had 194, we have 195, which is the first kind of like cameo of Taskmaster. And then, yep, had 196, so that was nice to see. Not in high grade, um, but still, this is probably one of the more valuable books in the run, maybe kind of in the 40 to $50 range. that was really the only but oh yeah that, that's right it jumped up to uh, 227 which is the one of the first new captain marvel uh characters and so uh this is definitely one of those kind of like minor keys especially with the marvel show coming and everything so so that was a cool one to see and had some daredevil in here i don't think there were any major keys from daredevil unfortunately because it was in the time frame where it could have had them um, you know, you could have potentially had some of the Frank Miller type Daredevil stuff in here, but unfortunately didn't really have any of the, the big ones that you would, you would hope to see. Uh, well, this one is actually, that's right. This one is the first hand. You know, so that's kind of like a minor key. And we've got this one, which is just popular because it's like a, you know, Wolverine cover. Uh, and it's also the first Dark Wind, you know, minor, minor key. And we had some of the, the you know, the, this version of Ghost Rider. You know, this is from 1977. No major keys or anything in there.
Yeah, and unfortunately this Captain Marvel, uh, you know, started a little, little too late. Really no, uh, nothing of real critical importance in, in the run at this point, because we're, we're pretty much past the early Thanos appearances. I think there's, there's like an early thing, there's like a Thanos crossover. Maybe it's in this one. I think it's, yeah, Trouble on Titans, so there might be, I think Thanos makes some appearance in here. Yeah, I don't know exactly where though. But still, the interior art on these is is really, really great. These like, giant splash pages, really impressive. Oh, there's the uh, Kazars and Conans. Um, kind of some random, random books. You know, we got a man thin cover, but nothing. Uh, Really, the right home about. We've got some Conans in here. And I think it's just like a random Champions book. A couple random Moon Knights. Yeah, issue four and issue seven. And then we've got Spider Man. There were there was quite a bit of Spider Man. Um, so that's that's something I'm always I'm always happy to see Spider Man because that's at least something that. A lot of people like to this is a, <laughs> this is the first rapier you know i mean a yeah, major major character um that was a great morbius cover there uh, there's a couple keys in the spectacular spider-man run i think this is the second appearance of like jack-o-lantern Then here we've just got, you know, I always like seeing the, the black cat covers. Got a couple black cat covers there. And we've got issue 90. This was one of the other kind of like bigger keys in the run. This ties for the first black suit. And you can see it on the, oh, that's the last page. Yep, right here. But you can see you've got staining down here in the corner, color lift on the side. You know, not something that's worth grading, but still, you know, it's a, very important issue in the life of Spider-Man. And then we hit the amazing Spider-Man stuff. Got a, a Punisher crossover. And I know this is, this tends to be a pretty popular cover, uh, you know, with him battling Green Goblin. So you got a couple Green Goblin issues there. Got Doctor Doom. This is the first big wheel, major, major character. I could see them using that. Let's see. Crossover with Cap. I think this has a Punisher crossover, something like that in here. There's something about that one. I can't remember what it is. That's a cool cover. It really reminds me of that ASM 28, you know, with the uh, first Molten Man, that, the way they did that cover. You've got Hobgoblin. And then, so I saw this. And I was really excited when I started getting to this point because I was like, okay, we got 192, 193, uh, 195. There was no 194. We've got the second appearance of Black Cat, we did not have the first appearance of Black Cat. That would have been great to see. Because that one is almost worth grading in any condition, but unfortunately, uh, you know, didn't have it. We have this nice anniversary issue, you know, issue 200. Then we have this, this is a great Punisher cover, you know, the Bullseye Punisher cover, another great Punisher cover. And then we're just, you know, basically you know, another Black Cat cover. It's got some great Bronze Age Spider-Man. There's one more kind of like, oh yeah, and then this is where Black Cat returns. We've got Black Cat again. And then we've got this great uh, Juggernaut cover. Definitely a cool one. Yeah, and unfortunately, kind of like lower grade, but still, it's a cool one to have. And that's the last one. That's everything. All the books, about 400 books. Um, definitely a lot of time and effort going through them. And then I got to bag and board everything now. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. This second box had some of some fun books in there, like the Amazing Spider-Man run near the end. And like I said earlier in the video, if you have any interest in any of kind of these larger lots of books, these Bronze Age books, reach out to me on Instagram and I would be happy to work with you on that. And if you haven't checked out the other video that I did a little more focused on the collection, you know, going over the different keys and everything, make sure to go check that one out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got more videos over here. If you'd like to watch some of my other videos and the subscription button right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.